Hi everybody, welcome to the ninth part of my practice series on Backgammon Galaxy. So last time the match has been pretty straightforward and quite short, so let's hope for this time that there will be more action and more decisions. As always, if you like the content, please press the corresponding button and subscribe to the channel. Okay, here we go. Against uh, Garda Quarnen. Okay, make the point, natural play, think he should enter on the 24, I like that he entered on the 20, on the 5 points, so would have liked to attack. So now question is, do I play 6 to 1 or 8 to 3? Hmm. Actually, this looks quite ugly. This doesn't look much better though. And when in doubt, I rather try to keep the initiative. Try to not let him use his entire role to do some damage. So now I think I have to hit again. Looks a bit weird. But what else can I do? So this is great. Gives stability to my position. Six five. I think he should just make the ten. Is there anything else? Yes. Okay, I will strengthen my board. Race is even. There's plenty of contact left. So probably for now I want to keep my goalkeeper. Yeah. Maintain contact. Good shot by him. He can make his bar point, for example. Yes. And now I think it's time to move up with the goalkeeper doing fine in the race and it's now really unlikely that he will leave a shot this next turn so problem with stepping out is that I lose pips in the race in case he hits me but on the other hand I might get stuck behind his prime so I will jump out Not sure about this play, however. So he's considering to cube. Yeah, I give, gave him the opportunity to gain a bigger advantage in the race. Maybe I should have just stayed back. and run later, not sure. So race is still too close for him to cube. I won't run just yet, but have to be prepared to do it pretty soon. Still no cube, I think he should cube uh, when I have to run 
And when I'm vulnerable, so this is a very easy take, I think he should have waited. So right now the position is not very volatile. Question is, shall I go now since I have my close board? If I break it, I will lose ground in the race. And next time I will have to run anyway, probably. So yeah, I won't break my board. And try to get this to a race. Okay, so now sh should I stay there? I mean, he is not eager to hit loose and down, so I keep the contact like with a roll like this. Okay, he can hit loose, but then I have many direct winners. Yeah, he doesn't do that. Double fives, not the perfect shot. Now he can play pick and pass, which is much better for him. And he will play pick and pass again. No. Race has gotten really bad. I don't see... Ah, <laughs> I was just about to say I don't see much point in staying there because it's only 6-5. I would have hit him, but I thought Better not to waste waste the three pips inside the board to give me better racing chances, but yeah, I would have won the game. Because the only sequence happened, after which staying benefits me. But you can see even here, I have some racing chances. One big double. This was not big enough, fortunately. So now I can try to take, yeah, if I take three checkers off with double threes, that's helpful. Double fours also takes enough checkers off. So I'm playing for the doubles now. Okay, so it will have to be double fours. Okay, split. Ah, maybe not. I should have probably made the bar point. I played too fast. Okay, gotta concentrate more. That was just a lapse in concentration. I at least should have considered, yeah, why not make the bar point? I don't think it's a big blunder, but yeah. These little things almost always tell me whether I'm fully concentrated or not uh, right now. It seems like the answer is no. So I will make the ace. And yeah, if he had stayed out, that would have been a good double, good cube, but since I'm not leading in the race, I gotta wait. So race is even. I can blitz that lonely checker. I have an anchor. Certainly have some market losers. So I'm down in the match. So I think this is a cube. Easy take, of course. Yeah, now I will attack him.
So question is whether I should stay back or play 13-10. I think the goalkeeper is more of a liability here. So I will step up. Three two, not the best shot. I think I should. I mean, is that with oh? Press the button before really thinking it through. Again, a bit careless. So now, is this good enough? I mean, I'm down in the race, so if I play like this, where am I supposed to play all the fives? Can also stay back with one checker. That keeps more contact, I think. Oh, this is difficult. So these two I will play for sure. I mean, this gives me some immediate shots after 6-1 for example so I will go for the immediate shots double sixes it's a big swing 6-5 is not good for me So he's thinking about recubing here. I think he should wait, but certainly he's not far away. If he cubes, I think I can take this. Racing chances, contact, so I'll we'll take. Good shot for him, reducing contact. Good shot for me. Speeding up in the race. So now, since I don't have much to lose, I have to cube to 8 very aggressively. If he hadn't rolled a big number, I would have cubed already. So now, still a slight underdog. Um, so what's his take point? So his take point for the 8 cube is if he passes, he will have 35% match winning chances. So his take point is 35%. So and but he's still over 50. So I will roll. And I will continue rolling. Yeah, still he's a big favorite, so don't feel like this is an 8 cube yet. Now, so he is still the favorite, so he's over 50%, so, ah, okay, <laughs> I didn't lose my market, nothing happened. Again, six checkers, nine checkers. I still cannot cube, I think. Okay, now I'm glad I didn't. So that's his gin. So, yeah, I wonder if I had to cube there at any point. I think he probably should have just played 13-8 with this. 
with his four one. So in this game, <coughs> I don't need to win a gammon, or it doesn't help me much. So I don't mind converting this into a race at all. But I have to get back that last checker home. To get that last checker home, not to get back. At least I'm at the edge of his prime now. And now the question is whether I should step up. So the ace will be here. So here I give him all the opportunities in the world to attack me, to make the point. I think it doesn't make too much sense. So I'll just play like this and hope that he doesn't make his eight points so that I can escape with the sixes. Okay, oh, maybe I even will make the ace point. Thought that looks weird. So this looks flexible enough. I think I would probably make the 9 and play or the 10. Okay, I think I wouldn't have done that, but maybe that's the best way to contain that checker. Uh, remember that he is not afraid of losing a gammon, so he has more freedom to make some bold, bold moves. Anyway, with his anchor, he won't lose many gammons so there's the six but now I don't need it anymore okay so strengthen my board don't leave a shot should be fine double fours okay can make a five point board So he can go for the blitzing approach and just uh, try to run from his anchor while I'm trying to enter. What else? Is there any reasonable priming play? I think I probably would go for make the ace, make the deuce, race is close. Yeah, so that's a good shot. Now I hope that he misses. So that the chances increase that we get another game. Six, so that checker is safe. Race is still close. But of course I'm a favorite now. Not many choices here, so he'll have to run and question is, I think the race is too close for me to make a safe move. So that means I should hit him. And since I don't want to leave two blots, then the three is clear as well. Okay. I guess same thing here. I can play like this. But yeah, then I'm now I'm yeah, I gained something in the race, so now I'm at 14 pips. Now it becomes more attractive to do this. The other leaves threes and four four. And I may get a return shot. 
this is difficult. So yeah, but I should be a solid favorite in the race, so I will go for the race this time. But that was close. I mean, I have wastage on my ace point, so I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure about the first hit, uh, but I'm not sure about the second non-hit, basically. Okay, he survived the Crawford game. So he's got the free pass, meaning that I will cube immediately. And he should drop here, take his free pass, clear favorite, I am. So now we want to get into gammonish positions, so we will slot. Now I can wait with the cube because he has to take almost anything. So yeah, there is no reason not to wait here. I mean, I can also cube, but it really doesn't matter. I don't have any market losers. And maybe I can induce a cube mistake later. Who knows? Highly unlikely. He seems to be a very good player. But I don't lose anything by not cubing at the moment. Of course I will hit and get punished. Actually there is a reason not to cube here Be if you play for rating points because not cubing gives me more decisions uh, meaning that it should lower my PR a bit and since we are fighting for rating points, uh, I have a better chance to win the PR battle. So now, this is a desperation move almost, but what can, what do I gain? I mean, I can hit, maybe I should even hit, try to get the second anchor. I mean, splitting into the bar, It's really dangerous, but it creates contact, maybe. I don't want to break my prime against that back checker. I think that's the best way to try to win this game. Create some action. So I think he probably just should hit from the 10 and continue to his 6 point. Yeah, well done. And my plan doesn't seem to work for now at least. Really need an anchor now and then hope that he fails to escape his last back checker. Okay, that's progress. 
little bit. Now he has got two back checkers. Still no need to cube here. So I'm back in the game and again I will jump out. Nothing else to do. One. So now I guess I have to try to win this going forward. Maybe if he dances now, we'll cube even though there is... Probably still, is there any market loser inside? I don't think so, so I will not cube just yet. So the juice is clear, so this tries to go forward. And this is just a backup in case he hits me to get into a back game. Uh, I feel I have to try and win this going forward. Building my own prime. 5-4 is a great shot actually for that purpose. So double sixes might be a market loser now. Double sixes followed by a dance. So I will just cube. Who cares? I mean, it didn't matter before. Doesn't matter here, probably. So he doesn't want to hit on the ace because actually that's mm, uh, that block there is a liability for me. So maybe he shouldn't have, I don't know. So now I need sixes and I need them badly. Okay, not sure if this is a bit more flexible, better. And the other play, I don't know. Really, six or deuce, five four is bad. Okay, five four. Hmm. I don't want to break my prime, so it has to be something like this. Another five four. So now it is really not looking good anymore, something like this. Hmm. That completely duplicates my sixes and deuces. And here if I roll a six quickly I keep my structure so I will try this. So yeah, six would be really Convenient now, not double fives. Still have some chances if I roll an ace or a six, it uses a bit. It's improving the position a bit. So he rolled my number. Six is good. Question is whether, yeah, I should stay back. Minimize shots, of course. And as you can see, the race is fine. Question is whether I should run now, but this looks just, I mean, I wouldn't say hopeless, but I think I gotta wait one more. At least I've got a better board by now and can still keep it for another roll. There goes the board, double fives. 
playable for him. 5-4, now he has to hit and cover. So I will get a 3 shot. He shouldn't play safe. I mean, he faces a similar decision as I faced before. But yeah, he should, shouldn't. I mean, the race is too close, so he should hit me, 8 to 3, cover 5 to 1, and hope that I don't roll a 3. I think maybe I'm wrong, but I feel I have reasonable chances in the race here. Hmm. Now again the question that gives him good small numbers <laughs> but this is also really strong maybe since I'm still down and that may, may slow him down even makes the board so I will stay back. Yeah at least didn't work but gave me some more chances so now I have to stay back. I don't know what's supposed to happen but I certainly cannot win the race. Now I have to run, so that's game over, it seems. Okay, what did I do? I wanted to talk to him. Okay, yeah, I'm not at all confident that I played well in this. We'll find out pretty soon. He played very well, it feels to me. But it seems like I won the PR, maybe because of all these extra decisions, uh, but okay, that's part of it. Uh, so let's have a look at my mistakes. Yeah, not the best uh, match by me, but not the worst one either. So starts with a mistake with um, double fives in the first game. Yeah, I was torn. I remember uh, that looks ugly. That doesn't look much nicer, especially with a stripped six point after my play. I thought I need to take the initiative. Probably my play would have been correct if he had if we, if he had more builders in place, so then that the tempo aspect of the hit uh, becomes more important. But here he hasn't got that many threats. Okay, understood. That's okay. Here, yeah, I doubted this play immediately. I shouldn't have stepped out. The problem is the race is so close, and I give him. Good uses to gain a decisive lead in the race and when you look at the sequence he missed me but uh, in on the next roll I could have run out uh, without any danger of being hit so yeah that was yeah I kind of expected that in hindsight to be a mistake what else so the cube as I predicted a bit too early and yeah this yeah I never know it's so difficult uh, to decide when to run from the anchor so I don't mind uh, this mistake that much I should have destroyed my board a bit I felt that I'm losing too much in racing equity if I when I moved checkers deep in my home board, so I felt that uh, it was more important to keep the close board and the racing equity, so very difficult decision, I think. Got it wrong, but no problem. Okay, then uh, I somehow, I wasn't focused, I thought my opponent had split his back checkers, which was of course not the case. Uh, I don't know, that was just... Uh, I mean, I'm, I don't mind that mistake at all because I know that wouldn't have happened 
uh, under normal circumstances. So whatever, I think not too interesting to discuss it any further. So my cube was good uh, for all the reasons that I think I already mentioned. If I can attack him, then I can easily lose my market. So yeah, that was fine. And then next mistake is the biggest one of the match, I think, where I just completely misplayed the double fives. I didn't think through all of the moves. I think if I had seen this, probably I would have decided to, to play like this because that's, I mean, I'm down in the race by nine pips uh, after the roll. That means I have to look for the maximum contact play and that's easily the maximum contact play. It uh, makes the point and uh, threatens his straggler and my blot on the f his four point is in no danger whatsoever because his home board is very weak so that is just the perfect contact structure so yeah that was really really bad i mean uh, he rolled six five immediately so that shows how bad it was so i don't know i was somehow focused on running with one checker and yeah whatever even this is better and yeah, I didn't even consider it, so this is really bad. Uh, I cannot say if I had found a better play under other circumstances, so let's leave that open. Yeah, Cube was a bit too early with his lead, and the main reason comes pretty soon. Uh, simply, now I have so much leverage on my eight cubes, that even though I'm an underdog here, 47% uh, winning chances, I should have cubed already. Um, I knew that, I, I thought I need a, a round at least clo very close to 50%, uh, but I think I well, I'm well within my doubling window and I don't have much to lose. In the end, it was good that I didn't double because otherwise this would have made for another relatively boring video, this so we have some more games to discuss now since I made the mistake here again. 47% is well within my doubling window, so I should have cubed here as well. Actually, I thought I was more like 45 or something. Maybe at 45 that would have been borderline, but as it turns out, that got us three more games, which is nice. I think Crawford game, uh, he made some, yeah, he had difficult decisions here. Yeah, these ones are very hard to find. I didn't see it either over the board. So he should have slotted argument. Um, when I roll the six, uh, I, Often I escape and win the game anyway, so he should take the chance now since I have a blot in my home board. So uh, to, to just slot the point just to complete the broken 5 prime. And yeah, he made some blitzing move. Uh, this was, uh, yeah, that was okay to hit loose. Uh, but uh, he should have played it like this. Uh, yeah, the nine point is valuable in case I enter on the four. And usually it's not a good idea to put checkers on top of the prime. Okay, small mistake by him. And it, now we get to another play that I overlooked. Uh, uh, let's let's go to the play before just to show you that uh, here my analysis was correct. Uh, I needed to slow him down by hitting, despite leaving a direct shot. Uh, race is just too close to to be able to afford uh, a non-hitting play, as you can see, very clear. And then I decided uh, not to hit anymore because I increased my racing lead 
which is correct, but I chose the wrong execution, unfortunately. I thought I need to keep the the 6.0 I didn't see uh, let's be honest I didn't even consider this play uh, breaking the 6 point uh, that makes my barrel faster and yeah um, bad decision and this was okay but my play uh, just wastes too much racing equity uh, yeah I didn't see it Again, uh, not sure at all if I had seen it without the live commentary. Next game was just the free pass that he took and then final game. Uh, yeah, as you can see here, it just doesn't matter if you cube in this situation because uh, there are no market losses I even I don't even think there are any so I don't know why it's even a small mistake but uh, yeah who cares and uh, yeah when I doubled again uh, didn't matter could have waited uh, get some more decisions, lower my PR, but in the end, uh, at least uh, it was enough to win the PR battle here. Probably I would have won it anyway, but yeah, the advantage of not doubling is that in the end uh, you may induce a mistake, although against a competent opponent that's very unlikely. Yeah, and uh, the final mistake, uh, I thought about it, that wins more gammons for sure, but I didn't think it would win more games. I thought I should keep the structure, hope for the six, and what kept me from playing this in the end was simply that I need sixes and deuces to escape uh, or step up and I also need sixes and deuces to cover the blot so my good numbers were completely duplicated so that was my rationale but yeah this in the end was a big mistake uh, problem with my play if I don't roll the six on the very next turn probably my structure will break completely especially on fours and fives will be really bad so but yeah I don't fault myself too much for this mistake because often it's correct uh, not to duplicate your good numbers um, then maybe one more decision interesting decision uh, this one I criticized uh, that was basically the last interesting decision in this match so I argued for this play simply because I felt that the race is still too close uh, to be able to play quietly and indeed yes he is a big favorite but had he played like this um, he would have been a bit bigger favorite first of all if I roll a three it's it's not over uh, because uh, I have a weak board with a blot, so he still wins quite a few games. And if I fail to hit, then he has basically won. And you can see there's also not much risk of losing a gammon. I win 1% gammons here, so uh, he should have tried to lock up the win by hitting. And my 6-2, indeed, uh, I'm glad that I realized uh, basically in the last moment that, uh, yeah, my racing chances are not that great, so running out would have been a blunder. So I just made the board and tried to slow him, slow him down or get a shot on his big numbers like 6-6 six, six, or 6-5, six, so that was correct. 
Fortunately, I missed this shot and that was it for the match. As always, uh, if you liked the content of this video, press the like button. I mentioned it already, but uh, no harm in reminding you. And uh, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, bye bye.